All right, we back. We back. Episode nineteen. Listen, if you if you listen to episode eighteen, I'm gonna just say I apologize from now because I was supposed to drop eighteen. I was supposed to drop nineteen yesterday, I believe, and I was supposed to drop twenty today. Something along those lines. I, I know I'm off schedule because I took I took a mental break yesterday. Honestly, I haven't been feeling I haven't been feeling it. And it's crazy because these these are, I've been in like high high spirits the last you know pretty much all these episodes, but I'm realistic, I'm honest with myself. And yesterday I just was not, I wasn't up to record, I wasn't feeling it. So I took a mental break and I was just like watching TV, just chilling. Um. So yeah, episode nineteen, um, one hundred simple life truths. We about to get into it. Do I have an opening monologue? I'm trying to think. I don't think I have an opening monologue. I don't think I have an opening monologue. Like, these is really just off the cuff. Like, I don't plan these things out. I don't plan them out at all. I'm trying to think if there's anything I want to talk about opening monologue-wise. Oh, I got some. I got some. Um, Don't stay complacent. Please, please don't stay complacent. Uh, And don't don't stay nowhere nowhere where you don't feel like you're getting served. And I'm not talking about like in a restaurant or anything like that. I'm talking about like if something's not serving your greater purpose, yeah, it could be a means to an end. But at the end of the day, if it's not serving the greater purpose, the the, the big picture, get up out of there. Get up out of there. That goes for like uh, people that's not, you know, that's not adding to you or people that you can't add to jobs that's not adding to you. You don't really feel like you can add to the job. Uh shit anything honestly 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 anything and then another thing is when when you're when you're doing things like in your day-to-day and you find yourself just like sometimes you're you're just going through you're just going through life and then you just you wake up like for me I, I'll, I'll be going through life and then i'll like i'll like be somewhere and i'll just be like damn what am i doing like what am i really doing with my life like what's going on and it's not even to be like in a negative, it's not even like a negative type of thing. Cause sometimes it could be like, yeah, all right, what I'm doing right now is really going to build on my future. Like you really just, you, you, sometimes you're operating in the outer body and sometimes you get back into your body and actually realize where you are. And that's in, um, in time and space, you know what I mean? So you could be like right now today, it's, it's, um, August 10th at basically 4 52 PM. So right now, I'm, you know, I can come back into body and be like, all right, what I'm doing right now is working towards my future. It's, a, it's this Sade song. I think I mentioned it in one of the other episodes where she's like, she says, she says something basically along the lines of, would she disappoint her future if she stayed? Like, obviously she was talking about a relationship in, in that song, but you could think about that in, in the greatest scheme of things too. For, for anything and I, and I say that because I say that because let me think let me think let me think let me think I say that because it's true <laughs> I say it because it's true like I said this before if you have to start acting as if you're already your future self so if your future self if it's not benefiting your future self then don't you don't you shouldn't be doing it if your future self is not going to thank you for that one moment that you wake up and you're like, damn, what am I doing right now? If your future self is not going to wake you, is not going to thank you for that moment, then it's not beneficial to you. And right now, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I feel like a lot of things that I'm doing is beneficial, but I can definitely be doing way more. And I'm trying to navigate, I'm trying to navigate my, um, my schedule, kind of, my, kind of my schedule, like how I'm, how I'm building and what I'm building because I know what my future holds and it's a lot of things that I got to do to where I'm going to be content to where I can start making new goals because I'm always, I know I'm going to once I get the things that I want and achieve the, the milestones and goals that I want to achieve then it's going to be more things that I'm going to achieve after that so I guess that's my opening monologue I guess I'm trying to think if there's anything else I might have a, I might have a closing monologue depending on how what what this episode is going to be about because again i don't plan these things out i literally just press the record button open a book 
see what it, see what he's talking about, give my thoughts, and that's what it is. So we're going to try to learn something about ourselves today, and let's get into it. Episode 19 is called A Lesson from 50 Cent, and I like 50 Cent. I actually have his book downstairs in my library, um, The 50 Laws of Power. I've skimmed through it because obviously if you know me, you know I'm a proponent of The 48 Laws of Power, which is one of my favorite books, and I go back into it often. Actually, I went back into that book like maybe two weeks before I started this book that I'm reading now because I was going to try that series. But the book that I'm on now is it has, it's, it's easier to digest and it's not about being powerful. It's about it's about not being about outer power. It's about inner power and just learning things about yourself that's going to drive you to succeed in life, I guess. But the 48 Laws of Power is all about not all about, but it's a lot of manipulation and stuff like that. So I might still go over that because I don't know what's going to happen once I drop these 100 episodes, but I do feel like I'm I'm going to want to continue. So um, other than that, a lesson from 50 Cent, a lesson from 50 Cent, uh, episode 19. When I started this music journey, my content was so idealistic. I wanted to cure the the ales of the world through rhyming on beats. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. You wanted to cure the world. Cure the world. Uh, when I started researching a bit deeper and realized that the ugliness that existed on our planet is really by accident, there was in there are always more than two sides of the coin. I learned that simple minds simplify things as purely good and bad, except there's a lot more yin and yang. I agree. I agree. You can think something is bad or some things may be feel inherently bad, but they're not necessarily bad. They're not necessarily bad. Uh, you can't have bad without good. You can't have good without bad. You can't have dark without light. You can't have light without dark. You can't have hot without cold. You can't have mm, poverty. You can't have poverty without abundance can't have poverty without abundance and it's a yin and a yang it's a yin and a yang and there's no of course there's middle grounds to all of those things that i just named but it's best to be on one side or the other it's best to be one on one side or the other it's, it's best to be on one side or the other i feel like dr umar johnson right now you know how dr umar johnson always just saying this like Everything he says, he says it three times. Hit the cash app, hit the cash app, hit the cash app. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yin and yang, yin and yang, yin and yang. He goes on to say, that's why I divorced idealism and started flirting with realism. Yes, if you know me, I'm very realistic. I try to be as realistic as possible. And it is what it is. Life is life. My only goal now is to understand things rather than evaluate them like I aim, like I am in any position or have authority to judge, which is which is true. We are, uh, we're in no place to judge people. Everybody's going through life just the same as we are. Everyone, not everyone is necessarily born with the same hand, but you know, people born with better hands than you squandered it. People born with less hands than you excelled with it made the best out of it did did the best with it so we can't necessarily judge people because we're not judges i mean even if you are a judge it's like okay outside of your job you can't really judge people really and yeah yeah it's called the real world for a reason take the time to observe and soak it up. I'm sorry, I skipped a whole part just now. <laughs> I skipped a whole part just now. Give me, let me go back. That's why I divorced realism and started flirting with. I divorced idealism and started flirting with realism. I didn't skip a whole part. Yo, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm gonna go over this part again just because. That's when I that's when I divorced realism and started flirting with 
that's when I divorced idealism and started flirting with realism. I ain't gonna lie, I'm 10 minutes in, I'm not starting this over. I'm not starting this over. I literally just got off of work, say, you know what, I'm gonna, uh, I made a goal, I'm gonna commit to it, and let me go do it. So this is why I'm here, I'm tired, and I'm not making excuses. So, we gonna continue. It's called the real world for a reason. Take the time to observe and soak it up. You have to learn as you go. There won't be a, a, a wrap up at the end with summarizing songs and dance. It's just true. I'm I'm definitely learning as I go. I'm still learning a lot and I still have a lot to learn. Can you learn? Hmm. That's a topic for another time. Thinking you already have it figured out Closes your window to the universe of learning opportunities and growth. Oh, this one's short. Learning opportunities and growth. That's what I learned from 50 Cent. I'm going to absorb everything that's going on and take what I can get from it. Ain't no school for this shit, stupid. You got to be smart enough to pick up the information as you go. Facts. Clearly, he doesn't have my charm, but the lesson is just as valuable and changes and changed me for the, for the better. Thanks, Fifth. So yeah, is is you're only you. That's it's crazy because I was I was kind of gonna go into it, but I can't really go into it because I haven't given it as much thought to really dissect it right now. But I feel like I feel like you can't. Can you be ignorant to something if you know that you don't know it? If that makes sense, like okay, let's say. Quantum physics, quantum physics. I know of it, but I don't know it. I don't know quantum physics. Am I, does that make me still ignorant of it? I don't know. That's a story for another time, I guess. This one's going to be kind of short. It's going to be right on par with some of my early episodes. Around like 13 minutes. We're at 12 now. I'm about to just filibuster for a little bit, waffle for a little bit. Then I'm going to get up out of here because I want to go. I, I ain't going to lie. I need a shower. I'm tired, but I said but like 50 times in this episode. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Learn, learn, you can you learn from anybody. He said he learned from Fifth. You can learn from anybody. Some of my favorite people is uh, Charlie Munger, uh, rest in peace, Warren Buffett, Warren Buffett's alive, and... Uh, I think that's it that I could think of right now that I like to like listen to and stuff like that. But yeah, I feel like you can learn from somebody that you f may feel is below you for whatever reason and people that are above you for whatever reason. So don't be afraid to go out there and explore and, and learn, you know, gain that knowledge of the world. Enjoy the world. The world is the world is a, is a great place. Like I've been blessed to have traveled. Uh, I wouldn't say all over the world, but I've been blessed to have traveled, you know, a decent amount. And yeah, I think I think people should travel. I don't know how this got on to travel, but yeah, travel, enjoy life. This episode is kind of weird. I feel like I'm off. I feel like I'm off. I might I might drop two episodes today just because I was supposed to catch. I was supposed to be on. I was supposed to be dropping twenty today. But I'm about to go do the little edit, uh, shower, eat, and we'll see. We'll see where, where, where that lands me time-wise. Other than that, hopefully y'all learned something about yourselves today. I definitely learned a little bit about myself today, even though I wasn't able to articulate it in the best manner. I hope y'all stick with me. Hope y'all realize that this is real, raw, authentic. You can't spell balls without putting an awesome. in it. <laughs> Let me start. If you know battle rap, you know that, you know that that bar. Um, all right, I'm off this. I'm gonna holla at y'all. Y'all be safe.